You know it. I know it. Even Wallace Shawn knows it. Never get involved in a land war in Asia. But that's a little too much continent for one video. So let's just take a journey through the military paperwork of Asia Minor, AKA the big part of Turkey on this week's Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time. So we made a video series. We're geeks who drink and we read stuff all the damn time. This is random knowledge. Fought in the 13th century BCE, the Battle of Kadesh was probably the single largest chariot fight in human history. Ramses the Great prevailed against the ever-expanding Hittite Empire, but he also sought a diplomatic victory to defend against threats from Assyria and the Sea People, seen here. <laughs> Accordingly, the resulting treaty is the world's oldest of which we have both copies. The self-promoting Ramses had his version of events carved all over his empire, whereas the Hittite one wasn't rediscovered till 1906. But it now resides at the UN building as a symbol of our shared human history of successfully resolving conflict. <laughs> Fast forward to the 6th century CE, the Byzantine Empire, and specifically Emperor Maurice. <laughs> His Strategicon is a 12-part guide on what it means to be a general, written at a time when Constantinople was essentially at war with everybody. This book is cool because it details military tactics from other cultures at the time, many of which we simply don't have writing from. After all, they were far busier learning how to shoot arrows on horseback. According to Maurice, you could beat the Lombards by cutting them off from their booze supply. But you had to be careful with the Slavs because they'd ambush people by hiding underwater for hours at a time. That sounds familiar. Of course, Maurice ended up getting mutinied by his own army. So perhaps he wasn't as keen an observer as he made himself out to be. Finally, let's jump to 1858 and meet someone you have ever heard of. Florence Nightingale. During the Crimean War, she was a nurse at the Salimie Barracks in Turkey, where she started writing her book, Notes on Matters Affecting the Health, Efficiency, and Hospital Administration of the British Army. Although that title was not her first choice. Nightingale even went so far as to invent her own type of graph, which came to be called the coxcomb. Stop that! It was basically a first version of a pie chart. It wasn't just an innovative way to present the info. The info itself was even more important. The blue segments represented deaths from disease, which way outpaced deaths by actual injury. Sick, bruh! So, about that. A copy of the book made it all the way to Queen Victoria, and Florence Nightingale's notes started changing the way that wars were fought. Along with her other publications, the book jump-started modern hospital reform and training, putting a greater emphasis on sterilizing for disease control in military hospitals. Sanitary, bruh! Nightingale also went on to become the answer to a quiz question on this date right here, so now that you know all about war and clerical work in Turkey, visit geekswhodrink.com to find a venue in your area. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, share across all the social media, and meet us back here next week for more random knowledge.